As far as Beyblade types are concerned, Balance Bays are far less clear cut than the three other more obvious types. Attack excels in Offense, Stamina in Longevity, and Defense in, well, you get the idea. So what is it that sets them apart from their more conventional cousins? That's where this video comes in. This time, I'm going to be breaking down these bays into their essential components, and trust me, there's a lot to cover. But before we get into that, you know I have to do it again. This video is the fifth in a series, so if you missed the others, no problem. Just click the card in the top right for the playlist containing everything in my Beyblade 101 series. And if you enjoy the content I put out, consider subscribing. It lets me know that you enjoy my videos and encourages me to keep making them. So, with the shameless self-promotion out of the way, let's take a look at the slightly convoluted category of Beyblade that is the balance type. Unlike attack, stamina, and defense, balance doesn't really fit neatly into the rock-paper-scissors triangle of the other types. The concept for balance types is a bay that possesses the qualities of two or more different types. So, how do you make a game plan for that? There aren't too many research sources online, so this is mostly my own, with a bit of help from the WBO forums, but I've divided balance types into four subcategories. Those being pure balance types, possessing qualities of all three other types, attack stamina hybrids, attack defense hybrids, and defense stamina hybrids. I told you it was going to be convoluted. Let's take a look at them one by one, starting with pure balance types. A bay having attributes from all of the other types is going to be, well, bad. It's never going to live up to the same levels that bays that specialize do, unless it makes use of a certain gimmick, mode changes. A bay using parts that have different modes can effectively change up their entire playstyle, meaning that they can have a shot at winning against anything they're up against, provided their blader knows what mode to use. Prime example of this would be the Quattro Driver. As the name implies, it is four tips in one, one for each type. A rubber flat, metal ball, metal point, and plastic center with rubber circumference. Unfortunately, not all of Quattro's tips are made equally, so you are most likely to only use the rubber flat attack tip and metal ball defense tip. This tip pairs very well with the Astral, Zest, and Burst blade. Astral and Burst both have two modes, left and right spin. However, Zest has a ridiculous six modes, not including the DB system's high and low modes. Zest is dual spin, like the other two, but it also has attack, stamina, and defense mode. Zest is pure balance taken to the absolute extreme. Now, in order to use the spin direction mode change, you will need to have a dual spin core such as Spriggan, Achilles, or I can't believe I'm saying this, Hello Kitty, which is just a reskin of the first Spriggan core. Using a combination of these parts, your bay will have no set playstyle and can easily flex into whatever strategy you want to use. Will it be better than something that specializes in that style? No, but it will be good enough to win against something that's vulnerable to it. Before I move on, I should also mention Quattro is far from the only driver that can change into different tips. It's just the one that's most relevant because no one's using Extend Plus for its attack mode. Moving on from Pure Balance is the Attack Stamina Hybrid, also known as Ridge Stallers or Mobile Stamina. The game plan for this subtype is to outlast defense types by using a flat tip to chill on the edge of the stadium, safe from counterattacks until its opponent runs out of stamina, and using its extra power to bully stamina types when launched at an angle. Its weakness would be in a matchup against attack type, as you will likely have low friction to conserve stamina, meaning you'll be knocked around by bays with rubber drive. Tips like Destroy and Volcanic would be the main ones you'd want to use in a combo like this. It's really down to personal preference which one you choose. Destroy is better for attack than Volcanic, holding a banking flower pattern more easily. However, it has slightly less stamina, though Destroy makes up for it with superior life after death thanks to its free spinning plate. Also, it makes a pretty cool sound riding the ridge that I personally can't get enough of. Another good tip to mention leans even more towards attack at the cost of some stamina. Exceed Dash plus Z. It's basically just Destroy, but with a rubber tip free spinning plate and all. For a disc for this combo, you'd want something with outward weight distribution to conserve your stamina, and good LED for those close finishes. All good stamina discs apply. 
when thinking about your blade, you'll also want to lean into the same OWD while still having enough contact points to do damage. Basically narrowing down your choices to guilty and ultimate. Though, if you wanted to lean into stamina even more, you could consider using Vanish or Dynamite plus F for an opposite spin stealer build. For your core, it boils down to a choice between Burst Resistance, Bahamut and Curbeus, and adding extra weight, Perseus and Longinus. Next is one of my personal favourites, the Attack Defense Hybrid, aka Stationary Attack or Anti-Attack. High weight, low movement. The way to think about how to use this subtype is not too different from the Pokemon Wobbuffet. It's all about shrugging off hits and then counter-attacking. Because of its weight, it has unbelievable knockout resistance, making it near impossible for an attack type to win against it. And if it tries, this balance type will come crashing down from the edge of the stadium and send its opponent flying. Its main weakness would be pure defense types doing basically the same thing. Bearing Drift is a very good tip for this combo, especially in opposite spin matches. Though, if you want something more... balanced? Zone Dash plus Z offers slightly better same spin, burst resistance, and weight at the slight cost of some opposite spin and LAD. With your disc, weight will be the most important thing, along with having inward weight distribution for knockout defense. Nexus plus S, or D, is a good option due to its weight and making it harder for blades like Guilty to get under your layer and launch your bay with an upper attack. Nexus Plus S also has a mode change where the S gear's position is fixed and doesn't spin freely, adding more attack power to your bay. The Fortress Disc is also useful because of its weight distribution, along with Over and Giga because of their weight and potential for LAD. Good blades for this combo in left spin would be Guilty, leaning more towards attack, and Roar, leaning more towards defense. And in right spin, I'd recommend Divine F or A plus H. My mate Reese, guitarist for EB in the Deadlights, said you'd call this Beyblade Sir. For the core, you're gonna want Longinus for left or Perseus for right because of IWD. Though, again, if you're worried about burst resistance, Curbeus and Bahamut wouldn't be a miss either. And finally, we have the Stamina Defense Hybrid. Quite similar to the stationary attacker, the Stamina Defense Hybrid chooses to get rid of its contact points and focus everything into conserving inertia and increasing its knockout resistance by being heavy. It should have enough stamina to outlast defense types and enough defense to brush off attack types. When picking your tip, you'll want to further consider whether you want your hybrid to focus more towards same spin or opposite spin. Stamina or defense. For same spin, Extend Plus is the way to go. Opposite spin? you're going to want to use Drift. If you want to use opposite spin defense, Zeal is incredible for knockout resistance. And if you want something in the middle, you can't go wrong with Zone Dash plus Z. For the disc, you know the drill by now. Heavy, LAD, OWD. Over, Illegal, Moon, Giga, Spread Dash. Any of these would fit right at home on your combo. Though, I believe Over is the heaviest among them. Just like for the driver, for the blade, you have the choice between same spin and opposite spin. Wind and Roar are very good choices for same spin, and Vanish and Dynamite F for opposite spin. And I feel like I'm being so uncreative here, but some good choices for cores are Longinus and Perseus for IWD and knockout defense, and Herbaeus and Bahamut for burst resistance. <sighs> What am I missing? Dragon! Dragon! Dragon and Valkyrie 1 would also be useful here because of their spring-loaded teeth acting as shock absorbers for the blade. To summarize, there is a lot to balance types. And by nature, you can take them in any direction you please. Balance types can be aggressive or chill in the center. They can spin steel or they can rely on their weight to counter other bays. Ultimately, it's your choice what to make your combo and what direction to take it. And that's the beauty of balance type, of Beyblade as a whole. These videos aren't cut and dry. Make the bay you want to make, your way. Doesn't matter if it's good or if it's bad. Just matters that you're having fun. Because making these videos, I'm having fun. Thank you all for coming along with me. Well, this might just be a close to the 101 series, for now at least. This is far from the end of me making Beyblade videos, and I hope you will continue to stay with me and enjoy these videos I produce. Until next time, Mel go out. Peace.